So I guess start, start there. Like, how how tough was it to play the game, knowing what was going on back home? Um, it wasn't it wasn't that hard because you know I had a great support <laughs> staff um, here that was able to help keep me updated as well as you know make sure that they're bringing the right energy to keep me game day ready. But at the same time, know that they're gonna give me the updates and make sure that everything's going well. Um, but also, you know, my wife just being as strong as she is, she you know was holding it down. She was giving me the encouragement to just go play ball and don't worry about it. Thing. It's gonna be fine, and so yeah, it was it was a true blessing for me to be able to make it back in time. I guess how were you communicating during the game, or was it like, hey, once the game starts, put the phone away, like don't tell anybody? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was one of those things uh, with our op ops up front. You know, they were able to stay in constant communication back and forth with my wife and just kind of get the updates as they were going. And you know, they just gave me updates as as needed. Uh, not definitely not one of those things where like, hey, you got an update, hey, you got an update, but just kind of like you know when the contractions were getting a little stronger. Uh, it, it was mainly just like between like going into halftime, coming out of halftime, getting the car situation set up for like, hey, when we land, we're gonna have a car ready for you to get to the hospital. So yeah, it was it wasn't stressful or anything that was taking the, the game off my mind at all. Was there a chance you would have to leave? No, no. I mean, we had discussed it way before too, just understanding you know the timing of it and when the due date was supposed to fall. He was supposed to come next week, so we had an induction actually scheduled for. Yesterday, this is all day. It was gonna make sense. <laughs> he beat us to the punch. Yeah. I guess when did how how long before the game did you find out like oh it's happening? Uh, Three a.m. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. I uh, I don't know. I, w I woke up. Uh, I needed to use restroom in the night, and I saw a text, and uh, my my wife said that she didn't know if her water had broke or not, and uh, you know got confirmation later. She just went to the hospital right away. And, yeah, so it was it was a it was a long day. Sunday was a long day, but it was beautiful. So as you're hurtling on the way to the end zone, I mean, is, is any of that in your mind at all? Or are you able to just compartmentalize? Uh, no, honestly, it was one of those things where like I forgot in, in a moment where like I got to the sideline, drive goes by, next drive, I'm like, oh snap! I go talk to equipment guy John. I'm like, hey, did you get my ball? I, that that touchdown ball is for my son. Like he's yeah. coming today, so. They they did a great job and saved the ball for me, but yeah, it was one of those things where it like snuck back in my head yeah, yeah. and popped out in the moment. But yeah, it was it was a great day. Alexander, uh, Antonio Pierce was talking about the running game being something that they want you guys want to hang your hat on for this offense. It didn't necessarily happen to, to your expectations and showing on Sunday. How much are you? How excited are you guys to get back out on the field? to take care of it oh extremely excited i mean we know that uh, we didn't get to showcase exactly what we wanted um in the run game but we we believe in what we have we know what we're capable of doing so we want to make sure that we go out there and try and execute that every sunday so uh, this will be another chance for us to prove that another chance for us to make up for you know that lost time that lost momentum that we didn't come out with necessarily in the first game maybe responsibility might not be the right word but, but how much of a, of a responsibility do you guys feel to be a reliable part of that okay. um huge I, I mean we we talk about it all the time in running back room that we want to be the legs of this football team as we go you know they go so I want to make sure that we take that wholeheartedly with every carry, with every touch, with every protection rep that we have. Um, we're trying to be the legs of the football team. Remember you talking in training camp about how you felt so comfortable with the offense because of your familiarity with it. Does that come across once you're finally out there in a game? Did, did you feel comfortable out there with all that? Yeah, definitely. And then, you know, being around these guys, being around some uh, great big old linemen, you know, my guy there, of course, up front, uh, locker, <laughs> uh, my locker buddy. Uh, Colton, Cody, you know, those guys, Andre, you know, just big guys out there just getting after it, Dylan. Um, just being comfortable behind that type of offensive line allows you to just sit back and just get back to the drawing board, the fundamentals, and like you said, being in this offense before, um, this type of offense, understanding the leverage of plays, understanding the, the check down part of plays that are going to open up versus cover two versus cover three. Like, I have a different understanding from you know, previous years being involved in an offense like this. So it helps me out. I mean, just that play, I understood he's going to come to me for this ball. So I made sure that I, I was I was ready, made sure I, I knew how far that defender was going to be. And just like I thought in my head, you know, he checked all his, checked all his progressions and checked it down to me. So uh, just kind of being understanding, being ready for situations, understanding that is definitely helpful. What do you, uh, what do you talk about to, like, 
teammates that maybe are struggling. Like, you just had a fumble in the game. I know, um, you know you've been in the league a while. Like, do, you, do you talk to guys? Do you leave them alone? Like, how do you handle that? Yeah, you know, you just got you, you can't you can't overbear them a little bit. Um, it's one of those things where, um, as a runner, you don't. No one ever plans to fumble. No one ever wants to fumble, but. Uh, to give someone some confidence after that is, is big. So let them know, you know, next play, hey, we still believe in you. Don't worry about that. Keep going. We need you. And that's that. We know he's going to take accountability. We know that's out of his character um, and from a standpoint of, of trusting him with the football. So uh, it's one of those things that, like, if that's the case for anyone, we all know and believe and trust in their preparation and who they are. And we just try to reiterate that. No, what, what time did you end up getting to the hospital? I got there around 8.15, okay. and he was born at 9.22. So oh, wow. I made it just in <laughs> nice time. Input. Yeah, the cl I had to pull the clutch jeans out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, you know, big shout-out and appreciate the Raiders for uh, the way that they were able to operate. Natalia and, and Daryl up front, they just did a great job of making sure that my wife was okay, making sure that I was able to be there. Um, and just, yeah, logistically, we, we they did an amazing job of making sure I was, I was there. You, uh, you said you got that text at 3 a.m. Did you sleep after that? Yeah, I had to. Um, <laughs> it was one of those things where I was like, like ah, uh, I like texted her back a couple times. I was like, I, I'm not gonna call if she's. I don't know what like type of distress like <laughs> moment that she's in yeah. right now. I'm um, text back a couple times, and I'm gonna go back to sleep. And a couple hours, I'll wake up and I'll see the progression, see what's going on. But there's nothing I can do yeah. from here, so. Let's get this rest so I can play a good game and uh, then she'll update me in the morning. Did you sleep Sunday night? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> no, that, that's why I think I got maybe an hour of sleep after that. And uh, yeah, it was it was a long it was it was a long couple of days in the hospital. Yeah. Thank well, you. So thanks. Much.